Some struggling students wait tables or babysit to get some extra cash. Yeah, but a new trend has young adults rolling up their sleeves to make ends meet. News 5's Emily Hamilton reports they're not doing manual labor. I heard about it through my buddy when I lost my job. And he's like, well, they give you about 80 something bucks a week. It's a form of income that's given a new literal meaning to the saying blood, sweat and tears. Because we all know bills can cost you a pretty penny. Several people we talk to say they're turning their plasma into an extra paycheck. It helps a lot. I get insurance paid and smokes and my gas and that's about all I need. One recent college graduate who did not want her face shown on camera says her donations keep sick patients alive and the financial reward keeps her afloat. At one point it was essential. Um, my hours had gotten cut down to like four hours a week working on campus and um, this was how I ate. This was how I had gas money. Chase Jenkins, a sophomore at the University of Akron, says he's given blood in the past, but with growing financial responsibilities, he plans to look into getting paid for his donation. I like don't have a job, so like that extra money would be very beneficial for me, like especially. So like that's something like I'm definitely gonna look forward to like in the future, like donating plasma. Reporting in Akron, Emily Hamilton, News 5. Now plasma centers have different restrictions for donors and there are side effects like nausea, dizziness and dehydration. So make sure you read the guidelines for giving plasma before your donation.